serious business. Let's try and lighten things up a little bit just for a, a short while with the stand-up comic Lee Camp. A frequent contributor to the Huffington Post and the satirical newspaper, The Onion. Uh, Lee, when, when politics and people change, y you have to lose something. But you also gain something, too, because you've got new targets. So what's happening for you this time around? Well, I'm excited to see more of John Boehner because I like that he has that terror alert skin that actually changes color with the terror alert. So that's... That's good for America. But you know, all of my favorite targets are losing, though. We had the rent is too damn high guy. He's out. I loved him. I wanted to see Mr. T, you know, run our state uh, here in New York. And then uh, Christine O'Donnell. I mean, if we don't have a witch in charge, then how are we going to fight the zombies and vampires? <laughs> OK, so, so what about Nancy Pelosi? Was she always a good target? Oh, she was okay. I th you know, I think she did her best. You know, I, I think the reason she's getting, you know, she's getting a demotion and the Democrats are losing is, you know, they're, they're t terrible at PR. Essentially, what they did is they dragged the unconscious body of America off the train tracks as the train was coming. And then when America woke up and said, what just happened, the Democrats said, sorry, we made you miss your train. I mean, the, the thing about satire and politics is that it, it only really works when a government's doing a bad job in the eyes of the people, yeah? Oh, no, it, it works all the time, I think. But luckily, we have a government here that consistently does a bad job, so it uh, makes it easy for people like me. And who made you laugh more? Who did you get more laughs out of, George Bush or Barack Obama? Oh, I mean, you know, George Bush was wonderful as a, as a clown, but, uh, there, you know, Barack has his moments. I don't, I, you know, I, I've noticed that, like, with Barack and with Rand Paul, we've got a lot of weird names winning elections, which I don't, I don't want to vote for the weird names. I don't, like, Rand is a type of, you know, candy or something, and I'm not going to vote for Mitt Romney. That's a glove for toddlers. Barack I gave a pass to because he's using his Kenyan name, so that's okay. And Sarah Palin on the that ticket was, for the White joke, House, would that be funny? Yeah, I don't know if uh, Barack would find that funny, but, of course, that was a joke. However, the scary thing is that, like, a surprising number of Americans.